What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna take a look at doing a factory reset to our Lenovo Legion Go, and we'll also go over some setup stuff for part of the video as well, for those of you that might be interested. And I'll put that into two different parts here, but for whatever reason, sometimes we do need to do a factory reset, giving us a fresh install of Windows, and basically starting over as if we just bought the device. Sometimes it's from sideloading drivers a lot of times, a lot of rollbacks, issues with Windows, Legion space, whatever the case, sometimes we do need to do that factory reset. And I actually do these quite often on my Windows PCs but let's get into it here and take a look at how to do the reset first so we're gonna go ahead and shut down the device make sure there's nothing on here that you're gonna want to keep because you're gonna lose everything when you do the factory reset so back up anything you want to ahead of time but once we're shut down we're gonna hold the volume up and we're gonna press power keep holding volume up until we get this menu that's gonna pop up for us you're gonna get this menu normal startup BIOS boot menu system recovery there's some other options in there too but we're gonna go with system recovery here for what we want to do with the legion go now it's not that there aren't other ways to get to this but this is the way i've always done it for the reset here and it's always worked fine for me on the lenovo legion go so it's going to go through its process now and boot us into a mode that we can get into resetting windows again you can get to this other ways but this is how i chose to do it here and oftentimes i can't get this to flip back into landscape mode here you might get it to but uh it goes portrait just flip it around until we get back to a point we can flip it back around but anyways Go into troubleshoot here, and then the next thing is going to be reset this PC. And then we're going to have keep my files and remove everything. I'm going to remove everything. We're going to start fresh here. And then you can do a reinstall of Windows with a cloud download or a local reinstall. So kind of depending on how good your Windows is, maybe you're having a lot of issues with the device with Windows itself and it doesn't want to work local for a reinstall, you might go cloud. But for the most part, I've done local reinstalls without any problem. I'm going to do that here for this video, but both options I've had work without any problem for me here on the device. So it's going to go ahead and get things ready and then you're going to have just remove my files or fully clean the drive. I'm not selling this or giving it away or anything, so I'm just going to remove my files. If I were doing something else with it, I would probably go with the other option. Once that's all set up, it's going to tell you what you're about to do here with resetting your PC. Again, you're going to lose everything that's on here. We're going to click reset, and then it's going to get busy doing the reset of the PC. And this might take a good bit of time to go through. I am going to fast forward through some of this, but I do want to show all the steps. So at the end of this, we're going to get to 99%. It's going to do another kind of a restart here and it's going to flip around. This is usually when I can get it back to landscape mode if I hold it up and like make it flip, but uh, it doesn't always work for me. So sometimes I got to get into startup a little farther, um, but you can try tilting it and see if it'll flip for you. But we'll get to that part here in just a minute, but it's going to go through the rest of its install here for Windows. Again, I'll fast forward through that and get to 100%. We're going to get another just a moment here where it's going to want to do another restart, which happens quite often through the process. And then we're gonna get the normal Windows startup and setup that you're probably very used to if you've ever set up a Windows device. But I'll go ahead and go through some of this anyway for those of you that aren't that familiar with it. So we'll go ahead and click yes here. We'll click yes on US. I'm not gonna add any layouts. And we're also gonna be able to flip this around here. I just gotta to get to it. I'm gonna to connect to my network, get signed in. I'm not gonna show that part obviously, but I'm signed into my network. It's going to check for updates and yes i can get this to flip now if i hold it up but oftentimes it doesn't work for me until i get to this part for some reason but uh there we go we'll be back in landscape mode and ready to go here once it gets done this part we're just going to have our licensing agreement to accept get through that again just normal windows setup i'll throw a name on here we'll call it uh jerry's go and then i'll do another restart at that point once it does that, it's going to do one more quick check for updates here. And I'm going to go ahead and sign into my Microsoft account because I have a lot of things linked that I'm going to be using here on the device. And then I'm going to set this up as a new PC. If you had a backup you wanted to use from Windows and set it up from that, you could do that. Um, but I'm going to go in here and go to more options and go to set up as a new PC here. Click that again. And that will get us going there. And then it'll boot you in, it'll get some things ready, and you'll get booted into your desktop for the first time. You might have a couple other final prompts that come up right after that, but for the most part, you're going to get right in here and be ready to start setting up your Go. This will be as if you just bought it, just unboxed it, got it home, turned it on, and set it up. And at that point, there you go. You are factory reset, just as if you just bought the device. But there is usually a good bit of setup to do from this point. Lots of things to update, to uninstall, Steam to install, Game Pass to sign to, games to download, and any other setup that you want to do to the device. Now, this is where I'll go through some of my initial setup of the device. This isn't going to be super comprehensive, but I'll show you some stuff I do once I get this thing factory reset and good to go. Oftentimes, I'll throw, um, I have to go in here and install the 
uh, updates or finish the updates for security here if that happens to pop up I always do that and taskbar options for me I'm switching up right away just because I like to do things a little differently here I'm going to turn off task view I'm going to turn off widgets I'm going to go to search icon only so the box isn't there taking up space uh, keyboard's going to show up when not attached it's fine we'll go down through here and I want to change the taskbar to where it stays up I just don't like when it hides but if you like that uh, that's fine, but I want to go with normal here, so I'm going to uncheck the optimized taskbar, and that's finishing up there, and there we go. At least now I'm where I want to be to start functioning here. Now OneDrive is usually going to be up and running automatically, and what I want to do is turn off any backups that it's doing once I've signed into it. Um, I just like to do that even though I'm going to stop it from booting altogether. I'm not going to really use it much on this device, or I can log in through the browser. But as a gaming device, I really don't like to have anything running that I don't need to. So once I sign in and get rid of all the backups, I'll actually go into Task Manager and uh, stop that from booting altogether anyway. But let me go ahead and get rid of these here. Keep the desktop clean. All right, usually the next thing I'll do is get Task Manager pinned to the taskbar because I use it a ton on these devices. So I'm going to go into Search. And you can search for task uh, manager if it's not already popping up. It should show up pretty quickly here. We'll open that up. I'm going to go ahead and hold here. And then we're going to pin to taskbar. I like to be able to get to task manager very quickly and easily here. And uh, you can see now all your information down through here. You'll be able to see your memory allocation, your CPU, and startup programs where you can go in, stop different programs from starting up and that kind of thing. I'm going to stop OneDrive right away. I'm, there's a ton of other stuff I'm going to uninstall from the device and stop as well. But that's kind of the first thing I do because we do get into a few restarts and I just like to stop that uh, off the bat. Now, the other thing I'll do is start with updates. So Windows updates are going to be first, store updates, and then Legion space updates. So that's usually the order that I'll do things in. I'm not going to have a ton of updates this time on Windows, installing it from the device here as I did. Uh, some may need to retry, which probably won't work till restart, but we'll get that going. Then I'm going to open up the Microsoft Store, and usually there are a ton, if not dozens, of updates in the store, depending on the, the uh, age of Windows that was installed on the device. So we'll go in here. It's already done a lot of updates itself, and we're going to check for more, which it's going to come up with and have a good bit more here to go through. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to dark mode here as well, because it's just I don't really like looking at the light mode on here myself. But anyway, right over to dark mode, and the store is going to finish looking, and boom, yeah, there are a lot more updates coming through so windows update and store update get those all done completed out of the way they slow your device down they keep things very busy and there are a lot of things that need to be updated and done so before you even worry about legion space and all of that get the windows updates done and the windows store updates done we're going to go ahead and do a restart here because i need to retry those other updates as well and windows store is done usually on my first reboot is when Legion Space installs. You can do it manually if it doesn't happen, but after a restart or two, Legion Space should automatically come up to install on the device. So I let that download, click install, click install on this window, and boom, Legion Space will get installed for you. Now this is something a lot of people wind up having trouble with when they sideload drivers, GPU drivers, rollback drivers, things like that. Tinker with the device a lot and sometimes Legion Space will break and you do have to reinstall it manually um, sometimes then as well. Every time I've done a factory reset of this device, which is about four or five times now since I've had it, Legion Space has always popped up though and installed itself the first or second reboot after I was done the Windows setup. But if that doesn't happen, uh, you can go in manually to the support site, which I'll show you here real quickly. Um, in the support site, manual drivers come down here to the software and utilities, and you can always come in here and download Legion Space and install it manually if for some reason it does not pop up for you after a few restarts after you get your Windows startup done. So keep that in mind. You can always go and grab it and do it as well. And I've had that work just fine. Now we can retry and finish those Windows updates. They'll complete without any problem now that we've done a restart. And that'll mean that we'll have all of our Windows updates done, all of our Windows Store updates done, and Legion Space installed. Seems like a lot, but you gotta kinda go through and do all this this way. Otherwise things don't get updated right, or you're trying to get into games and you don't realize there's a lot of background updates happening or that type of thing. I'm also gonna uninstall a ton of programs too and we'll touch on that a little bit here but i'm not going to get too crazy with it in this video i do have a tips video that i'll link in the description that talks about initial setup and deleting apps and things like that more
So with Windows updates done, the Windows Store updates done, Legion Space installed, I'm now in Legion Space. I'm going to Settings, I'm going to Disk and Drives, and then we're going to go to Check for Updates. This is going to check for any of the chipset driver updates, Bluetooth driver updates, anything like that for the device right from Lenovo. Now everything in here is good except for the GPU driver that is just running on the current Windows driver that installed when we reset Windows. So for me right now, anyway, that's going to be the only one I need to install. However, that could be different for everybody install any of the updates that are in legion space i'm gonna to have to plug in for this one when you do a gpu or a bios update you often do need to plug into a power supply or it won't finish this process takes a little while but it'll do an install that'll disappear it'll restart the device and then you'll be good to go and then always check microsoft store again and make sure the new version of amd radeon software installed this should also happen automatically and give you the newest version based on the official driver that is installed from Lenovo. And I've never had that fail or give me any problem, so I don't think you have any issue with that one. And you can see here, we're now in the newer official driver that had come out from Lenovo. So now our device is fully updated and completely ready to go. We're gonna give it one more restart since we just installed those drivers. But yeah, we're completely set up and ready for uninstalling some programs, downloading games and all of that. What I usually do is go ahead and go into settings and apps and I go into installed apps and for everybody, this might be different, but go down through here and literally uninstall anything that you're not going to need to use. You can even take Copilot off if you want to. You can remove the Family Hub, the Feedback Hub. Um, you know, there's all kinds of programs down through here. Microsoft Office, if you're not going to use it on here. Anything that takes up space and could potentially run in the background for whatever reason, you want to go through and just uninstall it. There are deep loaded versions of Windows out there, which are great. But for the average person just booting into the OEM here and being good to go, this is just an easy way to go through and clean things up. You can also look through the apps on start menu here. Sometimes stuff will show up here that doesn't show up over in the app section. So you can uninstall things from here and you can also search and go to your control panel and uninstall programs the older way that way as well. But that's pretty much going to do it. That's the initial setup. Again, I have a newer tips video up, five tips for Legion Go that I'll link that might help newer people out as well, or you're just kind of a refresher with some things to do with your Legion Go, especially for setting it up. But this video covers the factory reset really well and then shows you some of my initial quick setup to get things going. But no matter what, setting up one of these devices does take a little time. You do want to get your Windows updates and store updates done first, get your Legion Space installed and updates done through there and then you can get yourself set up and into your gaming and uninstalling and installing apps so all right guys hopefully this video was helpful thanks a lot for coming to check it out as always i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one